and welcome to M. Steinard & Sons here in Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Patrick Elisha. I'm here with M. Steinard & Sons Education Division, and you're joining us in the M. Steinard & Sons living room. We made this space to show you what a grand piano would look like inside your home and also what an upright piano would look like inside your home. Today we're going to begin this journey with the Steinway Designed Essex EGP-155. This is a five foot one inch baby grand piano. So the shortest length that you can expect in a Steinway or Steinway Designed grand piano. Now, this box that we've created here for dimensions is five foot four inches wide and seven foot 10 inches long. What we're going to do is Take a look from above, see what this instrument looks like in this space, noting that I'm sitting with the keyboard parallel to the short side of this box. What you'll notice in this overhead view as we move the pianos is that an upright piano, when rotated 90 degrees with the keyboard parallel to the seven foot, 10 inch line and the bench all set up, takes up almost as much space as a baby grand piano, if not almost the exact same amount of space. So I'm looking forward to sharing this comparison with you as you look at what instrument would fit best in your home. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's take a look at this top-down view, this time-lapse of moving these instruments in and out of this space and see what they look like. Welcome back. Now we're sitting in front of the Steinway & Sons Model 1098 Studio Upright, a 46 and a half inch piano. What did you notice from this top-down view that you just saw? Isn't it amazing just how much space an upright piano takes up in your room? Now, if we're being exact, the upright piano setup that we've portrayed here is probably about a foot less length on the longer side of this box. But the sacrifices, the compromises that you're making are significant in both the tone and touch department. Now, when it comes to tone, this is a vertical box, so to speak. It's limited in the colors and the dynamic range, the palette across the registers that you're going to receive as the player. And a grand piano is certainly a much more enjoyable experience to listen to. As far as playing here, sitting in the driver's seat, your experience of touch will also vary drastically from an upright to a grand piano. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, I'm going to include a video here, a link in our description that will take you into a deeper dive in the differences between a grand piano and an upright piano action. So you can truly see what makes these pianos work and why they're different. Thank you so much for joining us here at M. Steinard & Sons. I hope that this video has opened your eyes into a different perspective in how you can compare an upright and grand piano and perhaps how a baby grand can fit into any space in your home just as effectively as an upright piano. Goodbye for now.